up at seven, my day see more than I prayed for. Got dressed to head out and ride to school on my skateboard. New kid in class, I sat alone taking notes while the hoodlums were making jokes at the clothes that my mama paid for. Seemed like gay worm was a part of some gang invasion, tattoos and initiation, parole and some on probation. Soaking up the vibe as I study for information, cause lately I've been deprived of a normal day. But today on my way to eat lunch, some kid approached me. He told me we should be cool if only he got to know me. Cause on the side of town, I would need some protection. It's crazy reckless and dangerous unless I'm some sort of gangster. I'm only safe with the police. He said his name was I dapped him up at the buses. Was kind of skeptic about him at first cause I didn't trust him. And the more I got to know him, I couldn't tell what his motives were. Hoping that he was sincere. Something told me let go, but the only thing on my mind was patient. Searching twice for a different life, I was tired of waiting. Plus me and had similar views and conversations infused with knowledge mainly about school and college that was my truth but regardless he was type cool when i was with him introduced him to my family they were rocking with him my mama told him make sure you look out for my son and before she could finish her sentence he quickly just interjected and said don't you even stress that i got it under control it's been two months since we met it seems like we've gotten close some cat approached me and tried to beef with me i just froze and i see pound and a stomp at home he rid out his clothes Called me his brother and told me he got me to the fullest Even if that means bullets, bullets, gangs, AKs and choppers to the killers That's the realest shit I ever witnessed A few weeks later my uncle sold me a Honda Civic A 93 with no license plates and no registration Just thinking about every place I'ma go when I finally get it And then he asked me for a ride around the block Some distance from where I was parking Instantly I knew that spot was sketchy My mama would kill me My intuition told me not to I knew it was wild and plus I knew it had no business or place on the side of town And I read about some chick who went lurking without a sound and got murked and a body found in the dirt with a thousand rounds of what's worse than abandoned builders and bandits, villains and scammers and killers provoking gangsters. But maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe I might be straight just as long as I pump the brakes and try not to think about it. Just trust I'll be fucking safe. And then I told him, let's go. Hop in. He dabbed me up. Started telling jokes the whole ride there. Had me cracking up as we were getting closer. I felt funny. My stomach turned. And then he told me, go left. Make another turn. Go right. And drive slow as I look. It was all abandoned and quiet, not a single person in sight, and nobody standing in right. When I pulled the car to the side, he said, right here, sit still. Turn the car off and chill. And I start to panic, he told me, relax. Then he pulled the keys out the ignition and hopped out and laughed. Then my life flashed in an instant, he inched on my driver door, then I tried to lock it, I couldn't. He ripped me right out my seat and then grabbed the side of his jeans and then put out the shoddy and all I heard was a screech and he shot my arm into pieces. I'm thinking I must be dreaming and... Another shot to my chest and my stomach squeezed and my breath from my lungs collapsed and I'm down on my fucking knees asking him why. He looked at me, I looked him dead in the eyes and he smashed my face with the barrel and I throw my teeth to the sky and uh, I heard a ch -ch sound of the shot he cocked back. He pressed the heart against my head and blew my fucking top back. Boom. I'm still conscious, I'm breathing. I'm still moving, no clue as to why I'm not dead. All this blood that I'm losing and I heard my car drive off. Then I looked up and seen the sun and that was all that I saw. Then I heard my conscience tell me, get up, nigga, get up. You're losing blood, oh my. Don't fall asleep or you'll die. Stay awake and move as much as possible. There's no time. Find some help and try to yell. You ain't too well, oh God. Wake up, nigga. Wake up. Wake up, nigga. Woke up at seven, my day was worse than I prayed for. Got dressed to head out and down the stairs from the eighth floor. New kid in class, he sat alone taking notes while my niggas were making jokes at the clothes that his mama paid for. Had no family, but was cool with the local gangsters, tattoos, and some on parole and probation for breaking rules. That life was all I knew, all I wanted to do was cruise, smoke weed and say fuck school, wanted guidance, cause all my role models I would look up to was indicted to young dudes with no logic. I went to church to the pastor, said fuck you, now violent. And this gang that always looked out for me, vibes for me, and adopted me Said they wanted to rock with me, and I wanted to get down Guess there was something missing, anything comes with a price But there's only one condition, all you gotta do for initiation Is kill an innocent victim and leave them there with no witnesses or no snitches If you do that, you be down with the click And that's for life, so don't you ever think you're getting out of this shit And I thought about it Soaking up the vibe as I study for information Trying to choose my victim, plotting the weakest prey But today on my way to eat lunch, I approached him And told him we should be cool if only I got to know him Cause on the side of town, he would need some protection It's crazy, reckless, and phony Unless he's some sort of gangster, he only safe with the police He said his name was and I dapped him up at the buses Was kind of skeptical about me at first cause he didn't trust me 
Then the more he got to know me, he couldn't tell what my motives were, hoping that I was sincere. But little did he know I was trying to sneak him and pop him brick. Just need the perfect opportunity, I'm tired of waiting. Had murder running through my head, I knew the death was coming. He introduced me to his family, I was jealous of him. His mama told him, make sure you look out for my son. And before she could finish his sentence, I quickly just interjected and said, don't you even stress. I got him to the fullest, even if that means bullets, bullies, gangs, AKs, and choppers till they kill us. I was lying to the fucking limits. Took advantage when he said he had that Honda Civic A 93 with no license plates and no registration Just thinking about every place I'ma go when I finally kill him And then I asked him for a ride around the block Some distance from where he was parking Instantly I knew my chance was coming I'm ready to drill him Then he told me let's go Hop in I dapped him up and started telling jokes The whole ride did Had him cracking up as we were getting closer He felt funny I think he knew something was coming That look he had was enough to tell me But fuck it go right And drive slow as he looked It was all abandoned and quiet Not a single person in sight And nobody standing And right when he pulled the car to the side I said right here sit still Turn the car off and chill Then he started to panic I told him relax Then I pulled the keys out the ignition and hopped out and laughed Seen his light flash in an instant I inched to his driver door Then he tried to lock it, he couldn't I ripped him right out of his seat And then grabbed the side of my jeans And then put out the shot He had cocked it twice till he screamed And it shot his arm into pieces I'm watching his blood leaking And another shot to his chest Seen his stomach squeezing his breath And his lungs collapsing He down to his fucking knees Asking me why He looked at me I looked him dead in the eyes And I smashed his face with the barrel Knocked all his teeth to the sky And then Sound of the shot, he cocked back. I pressed the heart against his head and blew a 